So once again, the question is, this is an interesting concept. First question, as a mission runner, is it better to try and balance faction standings or commit to a faction? Um, it is probably better to commit to not only a faction, but actually a corporation within that faction to build standings and get to level fours. If you're already at level fours and you want to get another level four up for whatever reason, you can. Um, one thing to keep in mind is some people will actually target decline, so specifically decline certain missions that involve shooting uh, the other factions. It's something you can keep in mind. So like if you are running missions for Kaldari Navy and they're going to have you shoot the Amar and you don't want to deal with standing loss for Amar, you can decline that mission. It can get tricky because if you decline too many of them, you can lose standings, um, but it is what it is. Hopefully that answers your question. If you have any follow-ups, let me know. Ghost Walkers and Dan Dingles. Thanks for the follow-up. Oh, new question. All right. Forget my question. Let's look at your question. I've heard of people getting a couple hundred million isk per hour running level four and level five missions, but I have no idea how they do that. Six of one, half a dozen the other, right? When you're doing PvE or, or most isk making activities in EVE, you are choosing the lesser of two evils. Or if you're a fan of Master and Commander, you're choosing the what lesser of two weevils. Um, that dumb joke aside, if running security missions is the lesser of all the evils for you, then I'll answer the mechanical question, which is, if you can blitz them, meaning you run them as fast as possible, you don't stick around to loot anything that's not necessary to complete the mission, um, running level fours, you can probably get somewhere close to 100 million isk per hour. That takes into account LP. So LP actually has an isk value. There's a place to go find this information. It is right here. So that overall ISK value is going to take that into account. Every LP is worth a certain amount of ISK. Um, and so your wallet might not be 100 million up per hour, but if you include the LP, then you might get close if you're actually blitzing them. Um, now to the level five question. Level fives are very different from level fours. Yeah, okay, That I'm glad that helps. And you can actually use that site to determine maybe what are the most valuable level fours to run, because LP actually ends up being a huge portion of the income from running missions. But leaving that aside for just a moment, level fives are a beast unto themselves. They are run in low sec, and those that run them quickly and effectively uh, are doing them in carriers. So you'll see groups that are like low sec powerhouses, like Snuff, Shadow Cartel, they're doing carriers. They have, they're, they're part of larger groups that can provide cover to those carriers. Yeah, yeah, they are big boy stuff. They can be done in battleships. They can probably be done in Marauders these days too, but it's not, not quite the same as level fours. Quick question, when you're able, how effective are combat ventures and are they just a meme? The problem I am trying to solve is fighting back against Asteros in my area. What would you recommend me do? Snake said get friends, and I, I kind of have to agree. Um, you can bait in that venture we were looking at and probably tank for just long enough for someone else to arrive and kill the Astero. If you can bait them, with the venture, then your your friend could come in. I mean, the the simplest version of this is just a rapid light caracal, and you just warp in once you have him tackled. You could just come in and destroy her, actually. Like literally, a a Talwar, a rocket Talwar, or a rocket Korax, or a, a blaster Cormorant, or an auto cannon Thrasher, or a. a what's the Amar thing? A coercer. All this stuff, all these things work. Just to kill an Astero, you know? Just overheat, do a lot of damage real quick. What can you tell me about Goon Swarm 
as far as how I join and what makes them different from other player alliances. I was in Shadow State for a while. They're good, but they have um, fairly high recruitment standards, so something to keep in mind. Um, but if you get some experience in one of these other groups, you might be able to join them. Which I would recommend, actually, if you look at my uh, corporation video telling people how to join corps. If you are going to join a block like this, you should make one of the um, s smaller elite, but not they're not elite, but one of the smaller, more tight-knit groups, uh, your goal. Bovril, I actually can recommend. At least back from when they were in Brave, uh, they were very good. I can recommend that. What makes them different? They're the biggest. I don't know. What else do you want? They're the biggest. They've been around for a really, really long time. There's a lot of history. There's a lot of grudges. A lot of people that don't like Goon Swarm. A lot of people that really, really hate Goon Swarm. A lot of people that are indifferent to Goon Swarm. It's like uh, US politics, you know? You ask one person, they're going to tell you that they're literally Satan. You ask another person, they're going to tell you that they're literally Jesus. Um, find someone in between. I guess that's me. I guess that's why you're asking me. Uh, what makes them different? I don't know. They, they actually kind of laugh at questions like that over there, if I remember correctly. Um, <clears throat> there are not a ton of groups in EVE that are extremely unique, if that makes sense. Every, everyone's got their own little idiosyncrasies or whatever. Good question. What is ratting level fours? Are there level four missions and just doing the bounty? No, it's it's probably it's honestly probably just someone misspeaking. Um, I'm a very big proponent of making sure to as much as possible uh, use correct terminology and speak properly because there are a whole lot of people in this game in this community who will uh, take exactly what you've asked there uh, and misunderstand it because someone said ratting level fours. It's not a huge deal. It's not massive. I'm, I'm making bigger deal out of it than it needs to be. Um, they're just misspeaking. Ratting or level fours, they're two separate things. Um, doing security missions involves a lot of shooting NPCs, right? And in case you don't know, or in case anyone doesn't know, um, here's how you get from NPC to rat. NPCs come in many flavors, Concord, Faction Police, Pirates, right? Pirates are a type of NPC. And if you just take the last part of that word, rats, you get, well, pirates, right? You get rats, so. Um, and that's where ratting comes from. You're killing pirates. Fun fact. Uh, but yeah, it's just someone misspeaking. If you were to do level 4 missions and only kill the pirates to get the bounties and not actually turn in the mission, uh, that would be silly. There's no reason to do that. Of course you should turn in the mission and get the agent reward and the LP. LP is a massive portion of the income that you get from missions. Good question hope that helps and uh, I hope more people can be more precise with their language in the future.